guys welcome or welcome welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here consider dropping a subscribe subscription and consider hitting that like button if you do like this video consider turning on your notifications and if you want to see more pictures of my pets and hear news about my pets um join my discord link in the description and if you can please subscribe to this channel if you're interested in learning more about fish reptiles and coming along with the adventure of me going through the bioactive setups and everything like that um you're welcome to look back on my old videos but in today's video, um, we're going to be talking about the rainbow fish I got. So if you didn't see that video, I'll link it up here when I recently got rainbow fish, like I'd say a month ago. And now I have been, I'll show you guys in a second, but I was looking at it today during online school at one of the rainbow fish, which is actually a girl. And if you didn't know, I have a, tet uh, a neon rainbow fish and a blue rainbow fish, which rainbow fish can hybrid breed. So I was looking at the female the other day and I started doing some Google searches and she looked really bloated and had this blue spot on her, which I'll show you in a second. And so yeah, that's just a bit of context and I'm going to talk more once we go to the tank. So I don't know if you guys can see, that is the blue rainbow fish we have. He is actually a male. You can see his colors and then you can see that guppy back there but you can see that is our neon rainbow fish and you can see that kind of blue oval on her stomach that is not part of the neon and you can see how bloated she looks see how fat she looks and i was wondering if those were eggs so i did some research and i realized they do lay eggs and the best place for them to lay eggs is in dark gravel with moss and with live plants and i have all those things and as you can see, if my camera would focus, she definitely looks bloated for sure. And it said one of the signs of laying eggs was bloated and having a blue, dark blue spot or black on the stomach. And you can definitely see that spot when she turns a certain way. So I assume that she's pregnant. Um, if you know, comment down below. Um, this is not the end of the video, but if you know, just let me know. And then I also wanted to just do a quick update on this tank. So, I don't know if you can see, we actually added a new filter. Sorry for the light bars, my camera just doesn't like me. Um, we did add a new filter. It is a hang on the back filter. You can also see the male is chasing her around a lot. So, I'm pretty sure she's pregnant. Um, and I really don't know what I'm going to do with the babies. This tank's practically overstocked. If you're new to my channel, um, I'll link the Plants of Tank series I actually did on this um, on this tank. I will link in the i card above, and I'll just talk. And you can just watch those videos to see how I set up this Plants of Tank. But you can see that we have a bunch of guppy fry in here, and yeah, and then we also have one snail, and you can see an up close view of that bloated stomach that she has. And a lot of you may be wondering, hmm, why isn't it just bloat? Um, because this just happened recently, like two days ago. Not overfeeding, they get fed once a day, maybe a pinch this entire tank. And you can see that blue spot. Sorry, I can't zoom in, my camera just is not good. And we'll actually break if I zoom in. You can kinda see that blue spot. There we go, she's coming up. You can see that blue spot that just went by on the lower abdomen of her and you can see the male is chasing her around and the male is also bright bright bl bright blue and he was also earlier having the uh, yellow stripe on his nose coming down his back which is a symbol of mating so I'm 90% sure she has fertile eggs um, which is crazy um, I'm super excited actually for these fish because I wonder what they're gonna look like and it's gonna be cool I'm probably gonna sell them though um, or give them to somebody, but this guppy, this baby guppy is like super cool in colors. Um, but yeah, pretty much a quick update on this tank is it's not doing bad, but it ain't doing the best. It has tons and tons of algae blooms a lot. By a lot, I mean like a lot, a lot. So that's the only problem, um, but it could be from overstocking or it could just be from algae, but can see we only have one left of these quarry cats of this type we still have three quarry cats in the entire tank we have white out the albino quarry cat who's been around forever we got these new jewel panda core no jeweled quarries and then we have you can see under there right there we have a bronze corridora but yeah this tank is progressing pretty well besides the algae we have tons and tons of new growth on this anubius 
can see them all. Like I said, the playlist will be linked up in the I card in the corner. Um, so you can go back and watch those videos and see how this tank was. Um, you're also going to see a fish that used to live in this tank called OJ, who sadly actually passed away. He was my dwarf grandma. Oh, he's showing this sign right now. You can see, you see that stripe on top of his head? We're going to, this is mating behavior right now, actually. You can see him chasing the female, and you see the stripe on top of his head? That just was, that just happened. You guys literally were looking at him like a second ago, and that was not there. And now the stripe's there. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. That's crazy. But like I was saying, we have some moss here. Um, I just put that in. That is actually not moss, but I believe it's from an algae. It's like those merino moss balls. So I think it is moss. I don't know. And then this big java fern, some type of java fern, has been producing tons and tons of pups, which is really cool. Um, the dragonstone's doing okay. It's got covered in algae on top, but I kind of like that natural look. Um, and then this new java fern actually was one that we put in Crush's tank. If you didn't know, um, if you're new to my channel, like I said, Crush is my female snapping turtle who's about two years old, who I actually rescued, who I'm going to do a video on tomorrow about the story of how I rescued my snapping turtle Crush. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a video on that tomorrow. So for now, I'll link her upgrade video up here where I upgraded her to her nice 40 gallon tank. Um... And then, as you can see, this is the DIY fish hide that me and my dad made. That was really cool to make. I really did enjoy making that. Me and my dad made that. And then, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this tank. Besides, um, yeah, this is nothing new to this tank. Plants are definitely thriving. Anubius has roots now. You can see the white means new growth. Um, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Um, if you guys did enjoy today's video... Um, chuck a like down below and maybe leave a comment leave some nice words um let me know if you think my um neon rainbow fish is pregnant or if that is just bloat if it is bloat i'll have to treat it i do not think it is bloat but so let me know in the comment section below and like i said if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing it's free and you can always unsubscribe if you decide you want to um and yeah um thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you do research and I'm out. Peace.